Hello, uh, hope you can hear me. Uh, trying a couple of different uh, different angles and stuff here right now. Um, hopefully, uh, this works out. This, this is my laptop camera, so it's not great. Great, but uh, what I have over here, focusing on this, is actually um, this is actually going to be more about what I want you to be focusing on over here if you're watching the video. Uh, let me know if you can hear me if I sound all right. Again, this is not my normal setup, but I, I was kind of pressed to try to work something out so that I could, uh, so I could show this. So hopefully it looks okay. What I'm doing today is this is, uh, this is beetle hay. It's a uh, terrarium I've, I've made. It's out of an old fish tank. Um, all the ventilations are on the sides there. Uh, Beetles are small, they, they, uh, they generally don't take a lot of space, so this should be sufficient. I have a few different species of beetles in here. Um, and I got you guys right here so I can follow the chat on my phone. So uh, hello, uh, Dave, uh, thanks for coming. And uh, Ricardo, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Chris Mallard, uh, the Daily Atheist, Daily Atheist Morning Show, or the damn show as it was called for a moment. Good to see everybody. All right, so what I have in here is I have a couple of uh, these, uh, well, here's two different species of beetles right here. I don't know, uh, you got your uh, your harlequin flower beetle and your green uh, June beetle. What I'm, what the, they're eating an apple. Uh, I do stuff with bugs, of course, yeah. Hi, Amanda. Um, so I'm gonna pull these guys out of here. To I just wanna update their, their house. When I made this thing, I only had the Harlequin beetles in mind. There was only two of them. Um, now I've got these uh, June, June beetles in here, plus the stag beetles. There should be three stag beetles in here uh, altogether, but uh, I wanna make more room for them. So, uh, important thing when you're rehousing is to always make sure you have uh, containers or cups to put your, your species in. And uh, you should have enough here for everybody. Uh, I always like to keep a tray 
this keeps my table dirty or my table from getting too dirty. This is a table that you know the kids and stuff paint on and stuff. This is a, a little uh, arts and crafts table that we have. I'm actually behind the hive right now. I'm uh, I'm looking uh, looking at where I normally sit across the way over there. Is the the, uh, the spiders and stuff right across from me. Um, so my mic wouldn't reach over here, but I wanted to make sure I had enough work area and if I like doing this and if I get good response to this, I may set up something better, something with, with better lighting and, and better control and stuff. But for the moment, since I'm doing this impromptu and uh, wasn't uh, a planned activity, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Um, so as far as what goes into Beetle Haven, uh, I do have a lot of, uh, a lot of fake foliage. Uh, if I can get it out of there, it's wrapped in pretty good. You gotta get your, uh, you know, just craft store leaves for the most part. Uh, got a wire running up through the middle of them. Uh, some of them came with, uh, with some different, uh, different decor that we had through the years or I like, picked up at thrift shops and stuff because um, it's always good to have good plastic leaves on hand. Uh, I got, some like this this piece here actually uh is actually set up for uh terrariums for uh live animals uh i'm not real picky about it uh as long as you don't get anything that's chemically treated uh make sure if you wash or, or boil anything new that you get obviously um you, you should be good to go I, if you decide Sorry about that. I got some notifications popping up there. This is that old laptop that used to give all the damn notifications while you were, while I was trying to talk. So this is what I started off streaming with. Uh, uh, then I moved to a different, uh, different laptop, a little bit better camera. And then I got a new camera for my birthday, which is the one that uh, that we're seeing the table on over here. <laughs> so hopefully that looks pretty good, despite my uh, my ugliness. But I guess I'm small enough that it doesn't really matter. And if you all have any questions about any of the stuff that I'm doing here, uh, feel free to fire them in the old live chat. Some dogs barking in the background. Like I said, this was kind of impromptu, so I can set up a lot of, uh, make it take a lot of preliminary steps. I was like, well, you know, I'm going to record this. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I go live with it? You know, whatever. Uh, nobody, uh, it was currently streaming. I guess I didn't know about Edward's stream, so I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your toes, Edward. Um, definitely uh, go watch that if uh, if that's uh, something you'd be more interested in. I'm not trying to, to strong arm anybody out of the way to say, hey, watch my stuff. Uh, but I, I am enjoying myself re, uh, re doing this rehousing. So if you like that, uh, hang out and we'll, uh, we'll see what other stuff. See, that's the problem with some of these. Uh, big plants as you end up with, with stuff like that in your uh, in your vivarium. Vivarium, terrarium, aquarium, uh, does it really make a difference? As long as you know what you're talking about. Uh, terrarium and vivarium are, are fairly uh, you know, are interchangeable. Um, I think uh, a terrarium doesn't necessarily have to have anything alive in it. Uh, someone fact check me on that though. I'm not, uh, you're still not satisfied, Edward. I'm sorry. Did I, did, I, did I step all over your toes? Oh, oh, look what we got here. We got stag beetle. We got the stag beetle ready to pinch too. He's not happy about being, being disturbed out of, uh, assuming he was sleeping. Uh, and this is not, this is not the fellow that, uh, the, this is not our, our stag beetle that, uh, that vanished into the house that we just found this morning, but he is in here. This one, I believe, is the female. So this is the one that I'd like to think um, was actually, was actually uh, uh, who he was coming out to visit when he decided to, uh, to return now, uh, my youngest son, Grayson, was uh, down here playing Xbox when the, the beetle stumbled out of hiding. So 
he was actually the one that found it. He's the same guy that left me the wonderful note about the June bug that I shared on uh, Twitter the other day. Um, but uh, I did. I'm sorry. He's standing right over here watching me. I did uh, share it on Twitter, but he actually left me a note about this too before he uh, he told me told me directly. Oh, there's our big guy right there. Oh yeah. Uh, there's good old Stumpy. This is part of what I wanted. Why I wanted to have everybody interact with this and see this. What am I doing? I am uh, rehousing. Uh, my uh, beetle vivaria. Uh, this is where I keep my my pet beetles. Dang, he's got some hooks in my in my finger there. Um, and this is a this is this is the main reason why I wanted to show everybody this. Uh, show everybody my uh, my rehousing because I think it's fun to show rehousing. another male in here, smaller male, but a male with all of his legs, so that, that gives him any kind of edge. Uh, because this guy is missing some uh, some limbs. I don't know if, they, if he sacrificed his limbs to escape, but uh, that's what happened. Are we talking about the uh, the Sibian? And not today. Again, I got a I got an eight year old here, so I'm not going to be talking too much about naughty stuff right now. <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to go through here and uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go through here and get some of these other, uh, oh, I'm sorry. He's not eight, he's nine. I don't know what I was thinking. Time flies when you're a parent and you've got little ones. I believe it's, that's some kind of adult toy. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Dave was talking about it the other day when uh, I don't remember what it was. I think it was the junk shop stream, but uh, they were asking about uh, oh, they, he said Syrian, and someone misheard him and thought he said Sibian. And, uh, so I looked it up and uh, yeah, so, yeah adult entertainment thing. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Edward. Uh, no trouble at all. My kids uh, put up with my potty mouth most of the time, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah. There you are. Okay. Here is another one of my flower beetles. These guys are so beautiful when they're dry, but when they're dry, they're unhealthy. So they're Kind of got a, a odd bounce. You know what? I'm actually going to push you two together. I don't see any reason why these flower beetles can't be housed up here together for right now. I didn't grab enough cups if, there, if I find that other. Let's see. So I still have another green June beetle and another stag beetle should be should be in here. Uh, so this is the fun part: sifting through here and trying to find my creepy crawlies. So I'm gonna put my phone over a little bit here so I can see what you guys are saying while I'm playing. All right. <laughs> they don't do it, but we wish they did. Is that what you're saying there, uh, Dave? This is kind of the centerpiece of Beetle Haven. I think when I build it again, I'm going to put this more towards the middle so that they can work the well around it. Then again, I like having it so that they're kind of pushed to the front when uh, pushed to the front when we when I have them behind me over there because I'm putting this, this aquarium right next to where I or right behind where I sit, so y'all can see the busy little beetles running around behind me because I love beetles and I want that to be. Uh, Something I have on the screen with me. So, um, 
as fuck. There he is. There he is. Oh, there you are, you beefcake. You big beefcake of a beetle. Actually, this one might be female too. Just don't. This might be. Okay, okay. So, uh, I misspoke earlier. The Those two are both males. This is our lady. Um, and she doesn't really have notable jaws at all. I mean, she does, but she doesn't. They're not, they're not prominent. Even the little male has bigger jaws than her. Check this out, I'll show you. Um, hope you guys can still scare me. I bet I keep cutting in and out, bobbing up and down. But uh, the, the one that's on the, uh, well, this one is male and this one is female. Even though that she's that much bigger than him, uh, his jaws are still bigger. But neither one of them have jaws nearly as massive as this guy. And that comes down to their, to their diet um, and everything, what they eat when they're growing. So uh, when I tried to raise rhino beetles, I failed miserably to raise rhino beetles. So if anybody out there is watching this and interested in raising uh, invertebrates, don't get discouraged if you fail because it's part of the process. It's part of the learning process. Just find yourself uh, good resources for information on how to do it and how to raise, uh, how to raise your creatures uh, and do your best. And if you fail, you learn. Uh, learn you know, that, and then, and then you, you, you move on and you, you take contingency the next time around. I've failed at raising a lot of things. I've failed at keeping centipedes alive. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Can you still hear me? Am I still on? Hey. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here until I see the light. So I'm showing back a bit. Okay, I'm back. I believe I'm back. If I'm not back, tell me. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, everybody's all stirred up over here, wanting to know what the hell's going on. I just got comfortable because I did really just put this together, but I ended up with more beetles in it than I planned to. So, what am I missing? I still need to find that other green June beetle. And that's kind of ironic. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry if I keep uh, keep cutting out there. Um, I share this house with with uh, four other people, so my signal might come cut in and out. But uh, I really do want to keep keep rolling on this. If I have to, I can I can snag it and edit it down, cut some of that stuff out. Uh, but I really do appreciate you all coming and interacting with me. Which camera's freezing there, uh, there, Ricardo? Is it uh, one out here? Or the There we are. All right, if you if you can still see me, if I'm not cutting out, uh, I did find the last of the green June beetle uh, beetles, and then 
gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna put him in here with the other green June beetle. I just think that that's uh, probably gonna be okay. They, they, they should be all right together. My hands get filthy when I'm doing this, but I do love to get my, that is why I like gardening too. I love the feel of, uh, of damp soil between my fingers. It's, uh, it's a weird, maybe it's a weird fetish I have, I don't know. I'll be right back. This will, I'm stepping away just a second to get something. I have returned. I have, uh, this is what I went to get. I just need something to put the soil in. This is just something I used to keep crickets in back in the day. I don't really do that anymore. But uh, I'm going to try to do a better cricket, uh, do a better cricket farm, you know, like I do with the, uh, with the uh, mealworms and stuff. Oh yeah, if you all want to check in on the, uh, on the mealworms before we finish up here, um, we can definitely do that. I know, uh, most of y'all in the audience were present when we did the uh, we did the farming video, so uh, it's something we can uh, we can delve into. Uh, not, not the table one, so the laptop. Yeah, this is that old laptop. Uh, I think I have a lot of the same kind of issues that that John Shop was dealing with when he had his uh, old laptop. He's getting a new one too. Or I keep saying he. They're getting a new one too. And that's going to be great because I love me some junk shop library and to be able to uh, watch it uninterrupted or without the uh, the signature freezing. Uh, that's going to be All right, so we got the uh, the main uh, big tree that I'm putting in there. So it's made out of like a pewter kind of stuff. Uh, it came from a fish tank, but that worked just fine for what we're doing. So I am going to put it more towards the middle than I had it, but I'm going to put it uh, still kind of in the back. Now I like to get just some uh, basic uh, river rock and gravel and stuff and, and put it in there to aerate it because uh, just like when you pot potting plants, you want to have that you want to have some drainage for your for your, your invertebrate pets. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the inside of this real quick. I will return in just a second. Went ahead and grabbed a drink while I stepped away. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Ricardo, ask questions for sure. I want questions. Uh, otherwise, I'm just talking to the void, which is fine. I'm talking to the void all day, but I'd rather interact with my friends. So, y'all have questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, Fire away. Oh, unless that wasn't towards me. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> My face broke the camera. That's not the best. Come on. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> right. Anyway, I got that wiped out real good. Um, so back to what I was doing here. Um, talking about drainage. Uh, you want to be able to have uh, a reservoir on the bottom and, it would, and this give it like I said for, for, for potting plants too if you ever if you ever participate in that activity uh, you kind of get the same the same kind of situation uh, or you want to make sure that the water is not standing in there because it's just as bad for your buggy boys as it is for your plants. Uh, all right. 
this will make it heavier on the bottom too. I'm gonna slice it to topple over. Um, okay, so got that in there. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly stable, uh, stable enough for the dirt to pack in around it. And uh, the first step I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add some, some soil in here. Uh, just kind of let it rain in, uh, spread around. Probably going to be using about the same amount of soil as I used before, but I want to leave this rock kind of poking out, uh, give it some aesthetic. Uh, and I'm going to switch rock with the water for on this one too. I don't think I'm going to use all the soil this time because uh, as you can kind of see, I had a bit of an issue finding them and I'd like to be able to tell if I wanted to talk about them or do a video where I talk about beetles to be able to reach in here and grab one. And uh, surprise, surprise, beetles like to, beetles like to bury themselves. So uh, being able to, to dig them out easily, kind uh, of So what I do with this, uh, it's, it's, it's the same as this, we'll just one of these cups like this. And then I uh, put it in a, in a Ziploc bag. It, uh, it just helps to, uh, to clean it because I can just take the Ziploc bag off and throw it away and keep the cup. Uh, not that the cups are expensive or anything, but uh, I like to recycle. Um, I put some pretty rocks in there because I can. Uh, so I'll put those out here for now because I am going to position this. So getting the excess plastic. Get some of the soil out of there so the water's not all filthy. Hey Grayson, can you grab me that spray bottle over there? Yeah, I'm bossing my kid around. Thank all this. Yeah, like always. Thanks. So I'm just gonna rinse this out real quick, just give it a couple quick blasts to get some of that filth out of there. There we go. Uh, and I'll push it down into the soil. Let's wrap it back up. And I noticed that uh, that my stag beetles mostly burrowed around the water dish. I'm not sure why. Um, that's just uh, instinct for them to build their burrows in the water, maybe. I don't know, um, but definitely interesting uh definitely uh something i might look into a little bit and see uh see if we can figure out the cause of that uh, i know i keep stepping away but i'll be right back Sorry, but I did not make contingency for uh, adding extra, uh, for, adding, for adding in the extra uh, drainage. So that's what I went back there to get was just to get a couple more uh, more stones. I have you know, a plethora of, of rocks available, but uh, I wanted to Make sure that I provided plenty of drainers this time because I was noticing that it was starting to get a little muddy. Getting a little muddy. Uh, for them to reproduce, yeah, this should be enough for them to live uh, fairly happily. happily. Um, We'll see about the stag beetles though. Um, I don't think, I'm not intending to keep them uh, except for the female. 
Um, but now that that guy's come back with the broken with the broken leg, I might keep him too. The younger, smaller male, um, I probably will. Uh, I probably will make the release maybe tonight because you can't keep two males together; they will never stop fighting. Um, but. It's a natural part of the reproductive process, so I'm not trying to stifle it. I'm not trying to censor them. <laughs> That's what they want to do. They want to fight. Let them fight. But uh, I don't want it to be seen as animal cruelty when I'm forcing them to fight in a small container because they will never stop until they die. So I will keep them together right now to trigger these display responses. He's actually doing it right now. I, mean, I don't know if y'all can see it or not at the angle he's standing up. It's this nifty little uh, stance that he takes. Uh, it's kind of like, a, look, look how tough I am. Look how big my, my chompy jaws are. I kick their ass kind of stance. And it's pretty cool. Uh, when they get more enticed by the female, he may show his wings. Really cool um, display that he does. But uh, she'll decide which male she likes. I, 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 I can't imagine that she's not going to pick the larger of the two. I think that's uh, they're, they're predisposed to to, uh, to choose the larger, the largest male that's uh, that's courting them. So, I mean, that's not always the case, maybe. But um, I give the little guy uh, credit. He is pretty imposing looking in his little stance there. Um, I would not want to stick my finger in his jaws. Uh, whereas big guy over here, I was actually uh, sticking my finger in his jaws before uh, when I first caught him because um, he didn't care. So I got a chance to uh, kind of feel them and see what they're made of. Yeah. Uh, but I think we're about done. Let me, uh, let me roll this over here so you Kind of smile. You know what? I think I can pull that camera off without jacking things up. Maybe. Let's see. So, this is going to be Beetle Haven. Hopefully, that didn't look too bad on well, I'll take some pictures of it too if it didn't look good there. Um, and someone went, I was like, I should have got a little sign to put in here to call it Beetle Haven. I like that name. It's apt. Um, there's no, these beetles are all good to be kept together. I mean, as far as the different species go, flower beetles um, are quite easy going. And uh, these green June beetles um, essentially like them. They're very similar to flower beetle. You guys, that's terrible lighting in, on that camera. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, I did make a mess, a total mess. That's, that's how I roll. Um, but I also got lots of extra soil left over if you need any. Oh, all right. So now I'm going to put the food back in there. I'm going to start putting the food right there by the, uh, by the uh, water bowl. You know, when you feed real fruit, when you feed it fresh fruit, you want to make sure uh, that you're watching it because fresh fruit tends to uh, mold. Uh, basically, it's unavoidable because it's going to get them get moldy. They make, uh, they call them beetle jellies that you can buy. I do buy them on occasion. I might go ahead and buy some since I have so many beetles now. But uh, you can, for the most part, you can eat fresh fruit. Um, these uh, stag beetles, they also like, uh, they also enjoy uh, like tree sap, uh, so a little, bit of, a little bit of syrup uh, might entice them. That's uh, it's definitely an option. So I just put the harlequin beetles in there. And they, uh, they like raisins and stuff. They, they really, uh, really, they're really, taken with raisins uh, and I got craisins that I give them. So there's that too. Uh, 
I didn't talk much about the green uh, June beetles. You can kind of see the difference in the, in the sexes uh, and their coloration. Uh, one's got more of a gold tint where the other one's got more of a green tint um, prominent. Uh, so I'm gonna dump those uh, in here to the point. Right. And they, they're kind of like uh, little tiny, they, uh, they play dad, it's kind of funny. Now, yeah, I did make a total mess of my table here. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I have thought about doing a video on composting because I do compost. I do garden too and, and we raise plants. And actually, that's uh, my wife really, uh, really enjoys raising succulents and, and uh, taking care of succulents and stuff. Uh, I try to talk her into getting a and get doing her own channel and we can do a couple stuff, but she's not quite comfortable with that um, idea just yet. So uh, we'll see what the future holds on that though. It'd be kind of cool to do. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of couple content creators in the community. So uh, you all are awesome, by the way. Uh, the ones that come to mind is, uh, is of course, Math Pig and, uh, and Amanda and uh, junk shop and Julie, but uh, it's not, I mean, you got uh, uh, Morton, of course, and uh, it, uh, it was Morton in here, I didn't see, but yeah. Anyway, uh, enough about that. But, um, like I feel what the future holds up. How would you guys like to see about getting these uh, these beetles to display? Beetle Haven's gonna go on side here for a second while I So, I truly don't think that they have any interest in each other at this point. Uh, there's my two males. Um, the light goes away when I pull it up there, though, doesn't it? Oh, not too bad. Uh, as you can see, that one's quite a bit bigger than the other. They don't seem interested in fighting each other, though. Um, what if we introduce some lady love to the mix. There she is. So you got two males and then you got your female. Kind of in like a burrowy state, they don't seem to want to interact too much, except for the smaller male who wants to stand there and uh and display, which is kind of cool. But anyhow, so those are the stag beetles, uh, one of my favorite insects. I'm not sure about her back legs there. What happened to the back legs, sugar? Oh, goodness. That couldn't have been helpful. What's wrong with your feet? Yeah. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in there. Now my goal is to get them to, to breathe. Whether this one or that one, nice. They would breathe. This is the big guy. And they're tougher, they're tougher than me also. Don't worry about the job. He's so cool looking. Got so excited. Got so excited when I when I found this guy. <laughs> I'm walking up to me on my table. So there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce him back to the uh, environment as well. Um, so no display, but it was pretty cool. Um, no wrestling either. How many predators do I have? Uh, let's see. Got the scorpion. Got two jumping spiders. Three mantises. Three tarantulas. Oh, not one tarantula. We got five tarantulas and uh, a centipede. Those are my those are my predatory species. Um, so that's about all I have on that. Uh, I'm gonna pop back around to the main control. I'll be back with in just a second. We are back in the hive. Look at that. better now. Uh, yeah, I'm special that way. Uh, <laughs> so that was uh, that was rehousing uh, Beetle Haven. I realize I need to cap that off because so now better now. 
So now, when you, you look behind me, you'll see the Beetle so, Haven. That was, uh, which you all helped, uh, that was rehousing, uh, I guess you didn't beetle help, beetle but you, you kind of watched along as I did it, uh, yep, a few different cross. beetles there, you got a female stag beetle, you got your harlequin beetles, um, and so our green, June beetles. Fun, fun, fun so stuff. Now, um, you, uh, so me, I am keeping this right here with the tree kind of towards the back corner. Uh, but you, you kind of watched along as I did it. Uh, that way, when the beetles decide to come out and interact behind me, you all can see them a little bit. My mic's not in the way. <laughs> Two mics picking me up. Okay. It's like an echo. Dave, I don't hear it on my end, so it, 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 may, it may be the other laptop. I thought I dealt with, but I'm learning all this stuff as I go. Um, appreciate all your help. Uh, tell me if it sounds better now. See, I messed with this and I had it just how I wanted it before, and of course, I go and mess with it to put on this stream. Just trying to do something different, mix things up, kind of see what see what I can do with the format. I guess. Uh, I I really like. Uh, Talking to you guys about the bugs and uh, and bringing them out. Uh, let me uh, let me tell you about a few things I got coming up though. Um, on my channel on uh, Monday. Let me check my calendar. And make sure I give you the right time. On on the 27th at 7.30, I will have uh, Cybugs on. I don't know if you're familiar with her. Like, uh, She's an actual entomologist, uh, so she uh, she studies these for a living. She lives in Ecuador. Uh, right now it's currently the rainy, se rainy season, so she probably won't have... Still two mics, huh? On the 27th at 7.30, I will have uh, Cybugs on. There, I think that might that probably fixed. It. I had the computer muted. Um, I guess I should have just muted the YouTube uh, screen. So, anyhow, I'm gonna have uh, Cybugs on uh, next Monday. Uh, she's a, an entomologist. Uh, she's from Ecuador. Uh, she's not from Ecuador. She's in Ecuador. Uh, so uh, she's got a really cool channel. Uh, kind of doing the same bit of stuff that I do, talking about uh, terrestrial arthropods, which we both agreed that, uh, that bugs is a good term to cover, spiders and insects and uh, centipedes and other chillipods. It's just a good uh, a good descriptor of them because they're not, some of them are, are closer, not close related to, to each other. They're the Chelicerata, uh, they diverge back in, I, guess, well, I want to say the Devonian. Uh, so their ancestors are from before they like they diverged from insects and stuff from before they were had left the ocean so it's completely different different grouping but we would need a word to describe all of them so bugs is, bugs works fine now uh in the field of entomology the word bug is specific for a group of insects uh, like uh Shield bugs uh, is a good example. Assassin bugs are another another group that are legitimate legitimate bugs. Um, but uh, as far as the term bugs goes, it's been in colloquial use for any creepy crawly thing on that's, uh, that's terrestrial, not marine, uh, for a long time. You know, some people use it for marine stuff. I mean, you could call a crab a bug. I, I'm not going to be offended by that be, if you're using it colloquially. So that's next uh, next Monday. Now next Tuesday, I'm actually going to be I'm going to be 
co-hosting on uh, on Ethan's show, on his call-in show. It'll be the first time I've ever been on a call-in show. Uh, any, I, I, the, when I asked him what the uh, if there was going to be any any topic for it, he just advised me that it's going to be anybody could be calling in with supernatural claims. I, I wish we could hinge it more towards biology. But that's okay. I'm I'm used to uh, I, I'm pretty well versed in counter apologetics anyway, so I'm not I'm not like uh, worried. I'm not going to be able to address the questions or uh, or the callers, but. Uh, that's uh other than that i have uh stuff coming up in august but i don't want to get too far ahead of myself i have another a different kind of uh of scripted video this one's going to be uh it started off as a, about one topic and it's kind of expanded and it's you know it's going to probably be a series at this point um but uh i really uh really putting a lot of a lot of work into it Oh, you want to call in, Dave? Yeah, uh, call in about the Lycidian. Yeah, uh, and how it's uh, supernatural. There, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't know if any of y'all have watched that show. He does. He streams on uh, YouTube, but he also uh, broadcasts on Facebook as well. I've told a couple of people on my Facebook list to. Uh, to call in if, if they want to dispute this stuff with me. I uh, had somebody last night that I was talking to about that. Uh, I had a hell of a day yesterday. Uh, I'm so sick of these freaking anti-mask people. I, I can't even stand it. I've uh, made so many enemies on the home front because I'm not going to back down from that point. I'm not going to back down from the fact that if you, at this point, when we see the rest of the world moving forward, you know, starting to come out of uh, isolation a little bit, um, starting to uh, seeing their numbers uh, ridiculously low, dropping every day, and we're still climbing. And these people with their oh, it's it's a libertarian position that they're taking, and I get it, and I understand your liberty, but your liberty ends at your rights to get other people sick. Yes, that's Minecraft music. I told them to turn it down, but you know. This is his time down here. <laughs> it's funny that you uh, that you that you recognize that you nerd. Um, but yeah, that's that's been something that's been uh, taking up too much of my time. I'm wasting too much time arguing on Facebook, but it's because there's people I care about that are being exposed to this message, and they got these. these individuals that you trust that work in the healthcare industry telling you yeah I don't think it's necessary for you to wear a mask I don't think that you should that you should have to wear a mask um, I don't wear a mask when I'm not at work when I go to the grocery store putting that message out there and these people trust these medical professionals they trust them to say the right thing you know, I don't, I don't know, um, I'm sure it's the same in the, uh, in the UK, but correct me if I'm wrong, that, uh, you know, everybody has that family member that uh, went to nursing school or went to some kind of, uh, not necessarily a doctor, but someone with some medical credentials that they call and ask, oh, you know, this, I got this cough or, you know, I, I sprained this joint or whatever. The, this, the, and, and when, it's that, when that, it's that person that they depend on to give them honest, medical advice I'm sorry I'm ranting about this I've, I've it's been eating me alive uh, but when you, it, I'm not gonna sit there and, and be quiet about it when I when I know the information because you know I I'm a part of this community and in this community we have actual fucking scientists we have actual <laughs> experts in the field that we can talk to and we can ask about this stuff we have people who research this we we know the peer-reviewed research. Um, I'm not saying I do, but I know people who do. I know enough about it from those people to know when someone else is full of shit about the message that they're sending out. So, um, really, uh, really railing against the uh, against the anti-mask people lately, and hopefully you are too, because it, you know we need to keep grilling them. We need to keep putting their feet to the fire about that stuff. They make a claim. 
someone wants to make a medical claim, something like, for instance, oh, uh, any kind of moisture on your mask at all means it's useless. Someone wants to make that claim, push them to back that up. Push them for sources, and nine times out of ten, at least on those kind of claims like that, it's going to be like, oh, well, my personal experience, or this is what we, this is the protocol we have if our mask gets, yeah, that's the protocol you have, you know, when you're in, in the operating room or whatever, yeah, if, you get, if your mask gets moisture on it, then, it then, then you need to change it, and that's fine, and that's perfectly acceptable, but, you know, when people read that, and I don't know, when you breathe out, you're gonna there's gonna be condensation on the inside of your mask. The very first time you breathe out into that mask, you're putting moisture on it. So shut the fuck up about that. Because that's not how that works. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Language. Um <laughs> a, little, a little hot under the collar here about this. I'll shut up about it for now. Um but uh what do you got going on? Oh, man, this is going to pull me back in. Hold on. Oh, because of the president. Yeah, exactly. And it's in it, 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 what happened to, to his his uh, chumming up with with Fauci. Uh, apparently, that's a uh, that's down the drain, and people are still listening to him. You got all these doctors that are saying the doctors that have interacted with him saying, "Don't listen to this man. He's an idiot." But no, they're just gonna keep keep gobbling it up. Yeah, I I, I just but I'm I'm pissing people off in my personal life is the problem. I'm uh, I'm I'm making family gatherings very difficult by uh, by pushing this. But you know what? If I if, if me saying that is gonna piss off uh, my family members, but it's gonna save this. It's gonna it's gonna save uh, lives of this medical professional that I tell them to say about it. This is the, of her going into work and contaminating and, and getting people sick. That's what these. That's how these spikes happen. That's how these. Oh, all of a sudden we're in a hot spot. And it's because of people doing shit like that. It's oh yeah, I'm gonna. Get, Sure, I'll follow the, the proper protocols why I'm at work, but as soon as I'm off work and I go to the grocery store, I'm not, I'm not taking any precautions at all. And then I'm coming back into work tomorrow, all fucking contaminated, and I got these immunocompromised and sick people that I'm coming in and touching and dealing with all day long. That's where, that, that's where this comes from, not just in the medical field, of course, you know, any kind of profession where you're dealing with the public, you need to take that into precaution. To, uh, when you're at work and when you're at home. Uh, hold their feet to the fire. I, I will back you up, any of you guys, um, if you find yourself in a situation where you're debating uh, with these idiots about that, yeah, you know, tap me in because I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to rumble. I'm getting, you know, I got all this research that's backing me up because I've been trying, I'm trying not to give too much personal information, but I've been trying to provide a uh, rebuttal specifically because my immunocompromised mother-in-law is believing uh, what this individual is saying and all her, all her bullshit that she's spinning. Um, and I'm, so I'm trying to get, because she had, she, she survived cancer. She beat it. Um, she's cancer free and she's been that way for a while, but due to the fact that she had all that treatment, she's immunocompromised, so she can't, she can't uh, be exposed to a, a lot of stuff. And she, uh, has respiratory issues and stuff, so wearing a mask is difficult for her. So hearing somebody who she trusts as a medical individual, a med person working in that medical field, to give her honest uh, feedback about not wearing a mask, she, basically giving her confirmation bias to say, uh, I don't want to wear a mask, therefore wearing a mask is bad, and this is why. Um, anyway, yeah, this has turned into a uh, would you call it a political rant? I know that that, that people have politicized um, the whole mask issue. Um, people turned into a political issue, but it's not. It's the same as people saying, "Oh, the, the transgender issue is political." No, it's not. It's it, these things are not political. The only reason they're political is because you let your religion get into politics. Because you've opened that door to say. Um, 
I am going to uh, push for these uh, laws because of my religion. Because there's no, there's no rational reason to uh, to be pushing to, to 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 not allow trans rights. That's just specifically there. I know the mask isn't so much about uh, about rights. Uh, well, it is about rights because they think they have the rights to contaminate everybody. But it is about like the churches and stuff saying, oh yeah, we need to be able be able to be open. It's it's this real libertarian perspective. Um, anyway. Uh, I've gone pretty long here. Yeah, exactly. It's political and it shouldn't be. It should be something that people are talking to their doctors about, and the, the medical professionals, but apparently you can't trust them either when they're, when they're spewing nonsense. Um, so I'm glad everybody came and joined me um, to watch me rehouse uh, Beetle Haven. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll be some entertainment for everybody in the back. I don't know how how clear it is back there, honestly. It's, a, it's kind of small, but yeah, it's more for me than anybody else, to be honest. Um, but you often still see Big Girl when she comes up out of her hidey hole and, uh, and pays us a visit uh, back here. And like, uh, you're going to get a black hole spider and stuff, and uh, we'll fill out the, uh, the, the vivariums I got behind me. Uh, so, uh, I'll give wait a couple. I'll do a couple minutes if y'all have any questions, either about well about anything. You want to ask me anything? Ask me. Um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, probably go uh, go start working on dinner. Yeah, Ricardo. I'm definitely. Uh, we can do a deep dive into uh, into insect uh, stuff, into uh, to bug stuff. Uh, I'll answer questions. Uh, you know, I and I, again, I, and that's on any any video I do. If you have if you have questions, even if they're not related to the topic, I'm okay with that um, because you know the fact that you want to learn. Is what I love. That's what that's what keeps me doing this. Is that people want to come in here and they want to learn about uh, about these animals. So, yeah, I might just do uh, maybe that's something I can stream here in the next couple of weeks too. Just do a sit down stream and, and just do some Q and A stuff. Absolutely. Um, but if uh, if anybody else uh, has anything they want to ask before I step out, I'm. Uh, you know, about, about to wrap up here. Uh, oh yeah, before I go, I need to start doing this more often. <laughs> I need to start doing this every time that I'm on camera. I want to thank my patrons. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mama Atheist and Paul Camish. Those are my, my current patrons. Uh, you all are awesome. I appreciate your support for what I'm doing. Um, hopefully we'll keep... Uh, Keep on moving forward. If anybody is interested in, in helping support what I'm doing, uh, my patron money is going towards uh, stuff like what you've seen me do today, uh, getting new stuff for uh, insect keeping, uh, getting stuff uh, for streaming. Uh, altogether, it's gonna it's it's a an effort that I'm definitely willing to put in. Um, just you know, it does cost money and. Uh, uh, of course, uh, any support that you can give helps. Uh, I also, while I'm on the topic of that, I did uh, uh, go ahead and purchase something. It should be coming soon. It's something we never talked about, really. So uh, it's a, it's a it's a bug, uh, and I think you'll all think they're pretty cool. It's actually going to be a, a colony. Uh, uh, of insects and I think that it's going to be really fun. So that's something to look forward to as well. Uh, and uh, I'll be maybe dropping some hints along the way as we get closer to that uh, to that arrival date. But uh, yeah, again, thank you to my patrons. Uh, thank you to everybody who comes into the live chat to see me ramble. Um, and. And, uh, yeah, as far as 
comes on. I don't know why. I guess it's because you're always dropping the links. I, it always has you in uh, when I do the live chat, Amiga. It, it never shows me. <laughs> anyway, I, well, I do want to say I love Amiga. Uh, Amiga Nuts, you are awesome. I love when you drop everybody's links and, and support the community. You are amazing. <laughs> uh, but uh, I just want to throw that in there. Uh, and uh, Ricardo always with the with the questions to keep me uh, keep me with topics to talk about. Uh, beautiful people. I, I, I love each and every one of you. Appreciate you being here. I, I am going to tap tap out now. So uh, always remember to uh, be kind and take care.